Why are the potatoes green? Not green. Oh, never mind. These are Brussels sprouts. Welcome back to Tubby Time. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Uh, today we are going to make some mashed potatoes. Also, like, subscribe, comment, and let's get started. So we have just a regular bag of potatoes I got from the grocery store. Gonna wanna start out by peeling them. I usually do five or six at a time, depending on the size. So, eh, we'll do six. You can use whatever kind of potatoes you want. I bought russet potatoes, so that's what I'm using today. I actually really like this peeler. You wanna tell the crowd about these peelers that you bought? I'm gonna say they're really nifty because you can go this way and then just go up and go this way and go this way and then go up and this way. You just gotta be careful that you don't Cut off your whole hand. Where's the other peeler? I don't, there... I don't know. Ah! Look in the drawer with the peelers. That is not where the peelers go. So what's cool about these peelers is, like she said, you can do this, but like, I don't know. You just see those videos online all the This one sucks. Um, yeah, it's the potato, not you. you. You see these videos online of these people like peeling shit all the time? Well, these are like just Walmart peelers and they work absolutely phenomenal, actually. But you can just, it, it's very fast. And instead of like having one of those peelers that you're like, mm, you know, you can, mm. I can make like, I don't think You just works. got your skin. Oh God. Okay. I'm, I'm going away. So if you want skin filled potatoes. So now you just want to cut them up decent sized chunks. About that size. And we're going to put them in a pot. When you're experienced using potatoes, what's the best kind of pot to use? This kind. Do you have the circumference of the pot? I do not. You just want to make sure it's big enough so you can fill the pot with water after you put the potatoes in and the water is still covering the potatoes. So big enough that it can do that. All right. So we have all the potatoes in here. I'm gonna fill it with water to cover them up. And then I'm gonna turn it on medium high heat and let them sit and wait till they boil. Okay, so Josh said something about seasoning, which reminded me I forgot to put salt in the pot. So you take some salt, usually before you start putting it on the oven. Usually before you start putting it on the oven. And you just wanna go back and forth, that's it. I forgot it, but it makes a whole lot of difference with the flavor to the potatoes, so don't forget that. All right, so these have been sitting for, I don't know, 10 minutes now. You can see the foam, that's fine. It hasn't boiled yet. I'm taking a fork and trying to stick it into a potato. You know that they're done when the fork will go in the potato nicely and they're still really hard, so not done yet. Um, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Hopefully it'll boil a little bit faster. Okay, so this has been boiling for about five minutes now and I'm trying to push the fork through the potatoes and yeah, it seems to be going through pretty easily. So I would say that these are done now. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or two, then we're gonna drain them through the strainer. Okay, disregard the margarita glasses. It was a nice day out. So now that the water has been drained, ooh, jeez. <laughs> I just wanna put a little bit of water over the potatoes just to try to get some of the starch off. I don't really know if this really does anything, but it sounds like a good idea, so I'm just going with it. Just to make sure all the water drains out of there. And then we are going to put the potatoes right in the KitchenAid mixer bowl. 
You want to use butter. I usually use a stick of butter. You want it to be a little bit softened, so I'm just going to put this in the microwave for like 15 seconds. That's in. You can start blending this up. I'm going to stop that for a second and add a little bit of heavy cream. This just will make the mashed potatoes creamier. I never measure it. I kind of just eyeball it. So maybe an eighth of a cup I just put in there. And then I also want to add a little bit more salt. Not measuring it, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Start off with only a little bit of salt and then add more as you go on because you can always add more. You just can't take away. Okay, gonna stop that and get my rubber spatula just to scrape the sides down because there's a lot of clumps still up top. All right, gonna scrape the sides down again only because I still see more clumps of potato. And I am gonna take a little bit, test it. Definitely can use more salt. And I'm gonna do a little bit more heavy cream. So you just really keep doing this until you don't see any more clumps and you just keep taste testing it until it's the right consistency that you want, the right flavor and creaminess. Oh, definitely better this time. Fatty. Try some of the potatoes. No. No? No. What do you want to do? Stick my finger? I just... I don't care. Here. You know what's cool? Mashed potatoes and dipping tobacco. It's delicious. It's really good. All right. Well, I would say maybe a little bit more salt. Really? A little bit more. A little tad? Just a touch. Tiny a pinch bit? of salt. It's, okay. All right. See how that goes. All right. So there's our mashed potatoes. I am going to remove our attachment and try to get all the potatoes off of this. So like I said in the beginning, I use five potatoes. There's only two of us eating these and we do get leftovers from that many potatoes. So use as many as you'd like. I don't know why you wouldn't want leftovers. So that's about good. I mean, you always wanna keep some on the attachment for your boyfriend to lick off. So I think this will make him happy. What about a girlfriend? Oh yeah, she'll, I'll, I mean, I'll lick this off too. That's pretty much it. It's really simple. You don't have to spend more money and buy pre-made mashed potatoes or get like that packet mix of like instant potatoes. That's disgusting. Just do this. Here you are. Ooh, gifts. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I got a few. He just looked it and dropped like half of that on the floor. Subscribe, like, enjoy. <laughs>